Let's brag. Hey you guys and welcome back to Cheese Autos. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, we're with my buddy Jacob. Jacob, say hi. Hey everyone. Um, we've been, uh, well, it's been about a, what, a 12 and a half hour day for us here. So we've done a, uh, a gearbox swap in the A112 Corolla. Uh, we've also put a new clutch in the car, um, fresh gearbox oil, and we put lower suspension in the front. So guys, um, we're kind of doing the intro now at the end of the day. It's been, it's been a, a long day, but a good day. Uh, Jake's done an awesome job on the car. It's, uh, it, it, it turned out pretty good, guys. So, um, yeah, enough about all that of us. You're pretty happy with how everything went today? Oh, sweet, very, very, very good. That's all right, mate. Out of 10, how would you rate uh, today doing a gearbox swap? Oh, uh, well, I'll be eight. Yeah, he did a great job, guys. It was uh, for his first gearbox swap. So, um, out of our mechanical experience and ability, I give myself a three. How would you rate yourself? Oh, no, both pretty much. Three and five. Five? No, I agree. Well, combined eight out of ten. Yeah. Oh, if we average it out, it'd be a bit, bit crappier. But anyway, guys, enough babble out of us. Um, we hope you enjoy the video. And um, we might have a couple more videos of something Jake's got um, parked out the back. So, stay tuned for that. And uh, thanks, guys. Enjoy the video, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. All right, this is the 7A FE motor with a five-speed manual behind it. This is sitting in an AE112 uh, Corolla. So the problem we're having is the gearbox, when it's under load or backing off, is making a, uh, a nice, what would we say, a crunching noise. Uh, so what we're going to do is drop the gearbox out of this one and we've got a replacement box to uh, swap into it. So we're just going to go through the process today of uh, dropping the uh, gearbox um, and engine straight out from underneath and then replacing it and putting everything back in. So we're going to start getting into that now and we'll show you the process as we go through it. We've just raised the, it off the ground a little bit just so we're not hunching over. So uh, Jacob, what's the, what's the plan of attack for now, mate? What are we going to start off with? So that's what we're going to do first guys, we'll uh, show you each step of the way. So uh, we're going to hook in and start uh, pulling this apart. Alright, we've just gone through the process, or Jacob has gone through the process of removing any of your connections such as these. Uh, there is a large uh, part of the wiring harness, this one here, which runs underneath. That, needs, that is actually connected to the top of the gearbox. So that needs to be removed. Uh, what else was there, Jacob? Was there anything else we needed uh, to... Uh, uh, down the back here. We'll see if we can get you down there to see it. These linkages down in here. They need to be disconnected. And that was pretty much... That's about it. So as you can see, we removed the, the air intake setup. Uh, the battery's all been removed. So it's just this part of the harness and the linkages down there. Then after that, we can move on to the next step. Okay guys, so now that um, everything's been removed off the uh, engine and gearbox that we need to, uh, the next step is to uh, remove the uh, CV uh, nut off each side. So I think it's a 32 possibly, so we'll, we'll let you know anyway. But um, they've got to come off, that's the next step. Alright guys, the next step we're moving on to now is where the knuckle bolts onto the uh, onto the shock, the, these two need to come out. Uh, there are 17 mil on these, uh, probably as with they probably the same on a lot of uh, Toyotas. So once we can uh, manoeuvre this knuckle out of the way, that'll give us a bit more room to uh, get these uh, drive shafts out. So um, that's what that's what we're uh, moving on to now. Okay, guys, as you can see, we've um, we've remove the two bolts there that hold the knuckle to the uh, strut so that just gives us the room everything comes back uh, just gives us a bit more room to uh, remove these CVs these drive shafts so uh, what we're going to do now is uh, the other side's actually already been done as well so we're just going to uh, jack the car up is that right Jake? Yep. We're going to jack the car up and what we're going to do next is uh, just pop the CVs out by hammering them 
No worries. So we get the CVs out and um, we move on to the next. Okay, just to help with the process, um, we've removed the uh, tie rod end from the knuckle and we've also uh, just used some large zip ties just to anchor the uh, calipers up so they're not in our way. So that means when we drop everything down, they're not going to come down with it. Yep. So which ones have got a, which ones have you got a, these two here? Yeah, these two here. Yep. Yep. All the mounts for it. Yep. Yeah, it should just drop down and the, and the, um, the mounts for the uh, gearbox. Uh, I'll, back. Yeah, I'll just bring down. you guys back up here. Hopefully you can see that all right. But there's a, a mount back here. It's just, yep, that's it. Just up in there. Uh, also needs to be um, removed as well before we can lower everything down. So we've just, uh, well, I shouldn't say we. Jacob just undid that uh, the bolt for the the rear mount on the box. Um, out of ten, how much fun was that? Negative two. That's a negative two, folks. So um, if you're doing this, look forward to that bit. But I'm sure others will turn around and say, "Hey, there's a much easier way." With the shit, there might be. But hey, we're doing what we can. So it's all done. Great job, Jake. And um, yeah, so we'll get it back up and um, move on. Guys, as you can see, it is out. Great job, Jake. Great job. All right, what's next, bud? All right, well, so we've got to um, undo all the bolts. Hold the gearbox on. Yep. And then undo the top, top mount for the gearbox. Let's have a look at that one. That one just here, up in there, guys. Let's see if I can get you. Just up there. And then it should just pop out. Yep. And come out. Beautiful. All right, let's do that. And just to help ourselves out, uh, Jake's gone through and put all the bolts back in their original holes just so that we're not, um, you know, stuffing around later trying to find the right ones uh, to put back in place. So that does help. All right, Jake's taking out the last of the bell housing bolts. Yep. Yep. And all the bell housing bolts are out. The starter motor is off. And we did forget a temperature sensor that was connected there. That's been taken off. Uh, we're ready to rock and roll. Pretty much. So next step now, Jake, what's the... Um, we're going to put a, a bit of wood on the, uh, the top here and then we'll support the motor up with the strap. Yep. Beautiful. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, as you can see, the gearbox is now out. There was just a little bit of uh, jiggling to uh, dislodge it off the, uh, off the dowels, but it's all off now. So the plan is to uh, get the new clutch onto... That's the new clutch there. Got to put it onto the other gearbox, and then we can start uh, getting, up, getting that back in the car. And we're also going to do the... Uh, the rear main seal while we're at it as this one has a slight leak and it's probably also good to do it anyway while you've got the box out all right guys all right in case you're wondering what method we used to get the um, rear main seal out it was just a, a phillips head screw drilled into top and bottom and just yanked out with a pair of plies and um, that did the job hopefully that's focusing okay all righty all right, new uh, clutch and everything's put in. Now, we didn't have the uh, line-up tool, so we've just kind of done an um, eyeball on that one. So we'll see how that goes. We'll, uh, we'll chance our arm, hey? And uh, we've also put in a new throw-out bearing into that box. And we are ready to start reassembling. So uh, let's do it. All right, guys, we thought we'd take uh, two seconds out just to brag. Well, yeah... Let's brag. We, um, we run into a few dramas this afternoon where we had to go do other things, but I kid you not, that gearbox 
we got that up and lined up and on in about, it had to be about two minutes, I, I think. It was just, it was like watching a beautiful ballet, which you just a dance and just, it was beautiful. You guys should have seen it, but you didn't. It was great, trust us. suspension in it. Uh, so we're actually putting that suspension in this one. So we just took the whole assembly out, uh, strut, shock, and just bolted them straight up. So we did have a little bit of an issue underneath here with the K-frame. It was just a matter of what order uh, we put these in after we got that in. I mean, you can put one in, then the other one doesn't go in right. You do the other one, go straight in, then the other one goes straight in. So it was just a matter of that. Um, that sequence and it's all buttoned up now. Obviously all this will need a double check once it's been driven just to make sure everything is um, going and seated nicely. So we've just got to do up these, uh, sorry for the darkness there, we just need to do up the, uh, the tie rods and um, the knuckles to the struts and that is I think the front end done. Is that right Joe? That's all good? Yep. And then we'll move on to the back and put the suspension in the back. All right, guys. Here is the finished product. So those uh, we've done, we've done the uh, gearbox and the clutch. As you know, we've also put the front suspension in. We did run out of time to get the rear suspension done. However, it's sitting pretty even, so we're not too concerned about it at the moment. So the front has dropped nicely. You reckon? Oh yeah. Yep. Love it. So Jake's happy, which is the main thing. And um, so we're just about to start it. So everything's just been uh, buttoned up. And this is pretty much uh, the first turn of the key, to just to make sure it's all good and we're getting gears and everything like that. Just uh, start that up if you can, Jake. Just start that up and I'll just see if we can get a bit of exhaust sound from this. That clutch, holy fuck. Thanks, better? It's just got a really nice uh, sound, this exhaust. It's not a tinny, you know, shitty four-cylinder exhaust. It sounds good. So, uh, all good, buddy? All good. All right, guys, that's it from us. And uh, stay tuned because there may be some more stuff, whether it's Jake's projects or my, or my own. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.